and join me in the pledge. seated. Good morning. Before we begin today's program, we have a few housekeeping rules we need to go over. Parents, thank you so much for bringing balloons to celebrate your kids' success, but at this time, if you have balloons, if we could move those to the floor, that would be very helpful. Vamos a empezar con algunas reglas que la directora quiere mencionar. Um, agradecemos que estén todos aquí y si tienen, eh, trajeron globos para sus alumnos, por favor les agradeceríamos que los bajaran uh, o que los ataran al piso, por favor. Thank you. Also, um, parents, we ask that we are respectful today of the people around us. También pedimos respeto hoy para todas las uh, personas que vinieron a acompañarnos. If you have a young child here today and they become noisy, we ask that you take the child out of the program. Si usted trajo algún niño hoy y empieza a llorar, le pedimos que por favor vayan a un lugar donde esté más para que se calme. And parents, we do invite you to take pictures today. We just ask that you be respectful and return to your seat as soon as your child has gotten his or her diploma. That way people behind you can still see. También pedimos que si van a tomar foto a sus alumnos, um, regresen después a su asiento para que las personas después de sus hijos puedan pasar a tomar fotos. And if you are um, videoing today's program, we ask that you do so from your seat or move to the back of the cafeteria so that we're not disrupting the view of other people in the cafeteria. También si están grabando este evento, le pedimos que por favor lo graben desde su asiento o de la parte de atrás de la cafetería para no interrumpir a las personas que están viendo. And speaking of videoing, we do have a video crew here today that will be making a professional DVD of today's graduation. Y hablando de grabaciones, aquí tenemos un equipo profesional que está grabando un DVD para este evento. If you would like to order a copy of today's graduation, you may do so by stopping by the table in the back of our cafeteria and placing the order. The DVDs are $10 each. Si ustedes gustan obtener una copia de esta grabación, lo pueden hacer en la mesa que está atrás de la cafetería. Cuesta $10 cada DVD. Thank you, Maria. Welcome fifth grade students, parents, family, and special guests to Jones Elementary School's fifth grade graduation. We are so excited you're here today to help us celebrate the success of our fifth grade students. And students, I want to start off by telling you how amazing you look today. This is one of my favorite days of elementary schools, getting to see all of our fifth grade students dressed up so nice and so eager to move on to middle school. And boys and girls, you are ending an era in your educational career. You are about not to be in elementary school anymore, but your journey in education has just begun. And we hope that you remember all of the things that you learned in elementary school so that you can go on and represent Jones Elementary and do well um, with your educational future. Boys and girls, we have a very special guest here today to help celebrate your success as a fifth grade student. Mr. Pete Jinks is the principal of Springdale High School and he is a very special friend of mine and he's here today to um, tell you congratulations and give you some encouraging words. So let's welcome Mr. Pete Jinks, principal of Springdale High School. I'm a little bit taller than Miss Fink, so I'm gonna move this up a little bit here. Good morning. I am very honored and privileged to be the, asked to speak to you guys uh, I appreciate uh, Ms. Fink and the uh, faculty here at Jones Elementary for giving me this honor. Uh, I was told to keep it short and sweet, and that's what we're going to do. So I want to tell you guys something. I'm going to talk to you guys, students, you fifth graders, 
Your parents back here, your friends, your families are very proud of you. But I'm talking to you guys because you're the most important people in this room right now. In your seat, you found a pencil and a note card, a little index card. I want you to do an activity for me real quick, okay? I want you to write down on this index card what your dream is to do when you get out of high school. Is it to go to college? Is it to go have a job? Is it to be a professional basketball player? Is it to be a professional wrestler? What do you want to do when you get at a high school? And while you're doing that, I want you to remind you something. That's going to be in five years. Now, I'm going to make your mothers cry right now. But in five years, you're going to be with me. In five years, you're going to be a 10th grader. And I want to make your parents cry and stuff like that. But uh, that's important because then you're going to be working with me. And I'm looking forward to seeing all you guys there. Now, I want you to do something. When you get done writing what your dream is, what you want to do, I want you to put that someplace very special. I want you to put, when you go home, I want you to put it someplace that you'll never lose it. Because right now in your lives, you've got the whole world in front of you. You can do anything you want to do. Your dreams are whatever you want them to be, and you can attain them. But you've got to remember them, and you've got to work hard, because nothing helps you to achieve your dreams better than hard work. Sure, sometimes things are easy and you want to take the easy route, but I'm going to tell you, hard work gets to where you want it to be. So don't ever forget hard work and don't forget your dreams. I'm going to read you something real quick about dreams. This came from an Olympic athlete named Gail Devers. Keep your dreams alive. Understand to achieve anything requires faith and belief in yourself, vision, hard work, determination, and dedication. Remember, all things are possible for those who believe. Believe in yourself. Don't forget your dreams. So we're going to do one more thing before we quit here. I know a lot of you are going to go to J.O. Kelly, but I need you to practice something with me. In five years, you're going to be at Springdale High School. I look forward to seeing you all there. But we do something at Springdale High School to unify ourselves, because we're the Red Dog family. And the way we do that is we always greet each other by saying, woof, woof. Woof, woof. So on three, we're going to say, woof, woof, OK? Now, there's some people in the back of the room back here that can't hear you if you just go, woof, woof. I want you to be proud of it. So on three, we're going to do the Springdale Red Dog salute, OK? One, two, three. Woof, That's awesome. Thank you guys and congratulations. Good morning. At this time, we are going to start our award presentation. And I have two very special awards to give away. Fifth graders, if you want to put the cards and the pencils under your seat, and then you can grab those when you leave today. Thank you. Okay, I have the perfect attendance award. We have two students in the fifth grade that did not miss one single day of school this year. They were here every day to learn, and I'm sure their grades reflect that. The first presentation may come on up from Ms. Dillinger's class is Antonio Araujo. He had perfect attendance. And the second one is from Ms. Kaznicka's class, Elias Resendez. Thank you.
some awards to pass out today. I have the Distinguished Leader Awards, and this was a very special honor for the students. They voted in their classes, and they selected um, students based on their leadership in the classroom and, and making good choices. And in Ms. Malone's class, I have an award for Fernando Torres. Ms. Dellinger's class, Ivan Araujo. And in Ms. Kasnika's class, there was actually a tie. So I have two awards, one for Mercy Harrington. And one for Jonathan Polito. I also have citizenship awards. And these go out to the students who um, raise the flag for us in the mornings. And these awards go to T.J. Langenbellick. Fernando Torres. <laughs> Ivan Pineda Man Harris. And Esmeralda Adami. Good morning, I'm Miss Dellinger, and I just wanted to say to my class that I could not be more proud of each and every one of you. You're so smart, and you have outstanding character, and I know that each and every one of you is going to go on to do big, big things. But I hope you don't forget me, so come back and see me. I'm going to announce my classroom awards now, and the first award is for an academic achiever. This person has shown the most growth in our classroom throughout the year in both mathematics and reading, and it goes to Ms. Kimberly Salgado. <laughs> My next award is for excellence in technology. This girl can do it all with technology, and it's Joanna Salinas. For excellence in art, Kenya Oriana.
for Excellence in Music, Samson Heckers. For Excellence in Physical Education, and look for him in the future Olympics, Trey Relliford. For Excellence in Social Studies, Mixley Makeda. For Excellence in Science, Adolfo Vela. For Excellence in Mathematics, Jason Perez. For Excellence in Reading, Caleb Jackson. And for Excellence in Writing, Ms. Evelyn Mejia. I am Ms. Kasnicka, and I'll now hand out my awards. We have had a long, hard-working year, and like she said, I'm so excited to see what you guys do in your future. Come back and visit me. Keep me updated. Tell me how things are going. I look forward to seeing y'all. All right. First one is Excellence in Art, and it goes to Brian Torres. For Excellence in Music, Rodrigo Guardado. For Excellence in Physical Education, Tony Martinez. For Excellence in Social Studies, Mercy Harrington. For Excellence in Science, Memphis Perez. For Excellence in Writing, Ariana Rodriguez. For Excellence in Reading, Can't Keep a Book Out of His Hands, Brian Torres. <laughs>
for excellence in math, future mathematician of the world, Memphis Perez. And last but certainly not least is the academic achiever, someone who has worked, one of the hardest working students I've seen ever, <laughs> Jocelyn Gomez. Hello, I'm Miss Mellon, and I have had the privilege of having this group that I've got this year two years in a row. So we know each other very, very well, and I am really going to miss you guys, and I sure hope that you come back and see me. For Academic Achiever Award, Nitsa Udavi. For Excellent in Art, Perla Vasquez. For Excellent in Music, Fabian Ramirez. For excellent in technology, Jose Anguiano. <laughs> For excellence in physical education, Ismerelda Adami. For Excellence in Social Studies, Ronaldo Roman. For Excellence in Science, Fabian Ramirez. For excellence in writing, Giselle Cervantes. For excellence in reading, Juana Arojo. We apologize to her, it's a ro a roha. Excellence in math, Anthony Osorio.
Well, boys and girls, I have the pleasure of giving out a most special award. We are going to hand out the Presidential Awards for Academic Excellence. And the first award um, that we're going to give out is the Gold Award. And the Gold Award is awarded to the students who have maintained a 3.5 to 4.0 grade point average and have received proficient or advanced on the state benchmark test the last two years. But before I award these awards today, I do have a very special letter from a very special person written to you. Please accept my congratulations on receiving the President's Education Award. I am pleased to join your family, friends, and teachers in honoring this tremendous achievement. America's continued success depends on how well your generation is prepared for the future, and this special recognition is a testament to the dedication and skill you have shown in the classroom. I am proud of you for pushing yourself academically, and I am counting on you to continue to set a good example and help others whenever you have the opportunity. Smart, driven young people like you remind me that America's best days are yet to come. And as long as you continue to stay focused on your education and work hard, no dream will be beyond reach. Congratulations again. I hope this award inspires you to continue seeking out new challenges and setting your sights on new horizons. I wish you all the best for the years ahead. President Barack Obama. Okay, we're going to start with the Gold Presidential Education Award in, from Ms. Malone's room, Fabian Ramirez. Anthony Osoro. Yeah. Anna Gonzalez. Ruby Pena. <laughs> and Juana Arojo. From my class, Joanna Salinas. Congratulations. Jason Perez. Evelyn Mejia. <laughs> Samson Heckers. <laughs> Jesus Veroso. Jessica Angelis.
All right, for my class, Dallas Hernandez. Tony Martinez. Lorena Morales. Ariana Rodriguez Barroso. Memphis Perez. Jonathan Polito. Now we're going to move to the Presidential Silver Award. And these students are students who work really hard every day to learn everything that they need to learn to go on and be successful with their educational career. These students have worked hard, they've set personal learning goals for themselves, and they've met their personal learning goals. So at this time, we're going to announce the Presidential Education Award um, Silver. Lisandro Silva. Kimberly Salgado. Brandon Raya. Nelly Orozco. Congratulations. Kenya Oriana. Kimberly Martinez Veroso. Alexander Roberto Garcia. Patricia Estefania Espinosa Martinez. Ernesto Casas. Amavalin Barrientos Aguilar. And Caleb Balance. Victor Villanueva. (laughs) 
Mercy Harrington. And Jocelyn Gomez Hernandez. Alejandra Vera. Congrats. Nissa Udavi. Fabian Ramirez. <laughs> Noe Castilla. Brian Perez. And Jose Anguiano. Before we start handing out our diplomas to our graduates, we're going to hear from some of our students. We're going to start with Trey Relaford. I will always remember the first time I met Ms. Dellinger. Not only do we learn interesting things, but her classroom also feels like a home. We've been with each other like family and now know what each other is capable of doing. I used to, I used to struggle with reading. Ms. Dellinger was Ms. Dellinger has taught me the skills to improve, which will help me throughout my years of school and in the future. Friends, I charge you to learn from your mistakes, learn from others' mistakes, and learn to be a leader so that you are, you are ready for the, ter the turns, the terms, in life and prepared to handle what life throws at you. At this time, we're going to start handing out diplomas to our graduates. If you could please hold your applause until we're finished, that would help us a lot. Thank you very much. Alejandra Alvarado Martinez.
Jessica Angelis. Ivan Araujo Garcia. Antonio Araujo. Kayla Balance. Amavalin Barrientos Aguilar. Jesus Barroso Martinez. Ernesto Casas. Patricia Estefania Espinoza Martinez. Alexander Roberto Garcia. Rosa Cristina Garcia. Samson Heckers. Caleb Rain Jackson. Mixley Makeda. Kimberly Martinez Barroso. Evelyn Mejia Rodriguez. Kenya Oriana. Nelly Orozco. Jose Antonio Ortiz. Yasmin Naomi Pina. Jason Alonso Perez. Brandon Uriel Raya Arajo. Alonzo Relaford III. Kimberly Salgado. Joanna Salinas Sanchez. Lisandro Silva. Adolfo Vela. Our class guest speaker is Mercy Harrington. I 
I've learned so much during my time here at Jones, especially from Ms. Kasnika. She taught me helpful tips and tricks to be successful. She stressed me to use my time wisely, how to be precise in what you mean and how to really pay attention to your work. I learned about responsibility and how my grades will now affect me and what I do from now on. I need to never give up upon my work and push myself to go to college with good grades and good attitude. I also need to persevere all the way to high school so I can be ready for life. Coming here as a third grader, I was shy and unsure, but now I'm on stage giving this speech to you to, and leaving with confidence. I charge you all to leave with the same confidence to do well in middle school and beyond. Jocelyn Ayala. Yes, there we go. Brian Barranco Rua. Wendy Flores. Jocelyn Gomez Hernandez. Rodrigo Gordado. Mikaelin Hartman. Andy Hernandez. Dallas Hernandez. Erickson Jalak. Eloy Lopez. Mercy Harrington. Valeria Longoria. Tony Martinez. Lorena Morales. Daniel Navarro. Memphis Perez. Jonathan Polito Sinobio. Elias Resendez. Ariana Rodriguez. Moises Roman. Jaime Rudiega. Chesney Sierra. Brian 
Torres. Melissa Umana. Diana Vargas. Victor Villanueva. Nayeli Vieta Bayas. Okay, our class speaker will be Fabian Ramirez, and would you come on up, Fabian, and talk to our class, please? My, my time. At Jones is full of great memories. Our trip to Perry Grove Battlefield sticks out because it made history come alive and out of the books. Miss Malone has also made science become one of my favorites this year, which will help me later as I continue to learn even more in school. At Jones, we value things like being proactive, putting first things first, sharpening the saw, and thinking win-win. These will be valuable life lessons that will help us throughout life, and we can be thankful for our time at Jones Elementary for helping us learn them. Esmeralda Adami. Diana Anguiano. Jose Anguiano. Isai Araujo. Juana Araujo. Noe Castilla Trejo. Giselle Cervantes. Omar Espinoza. Anna Gonzalez. John Jokin. TJ Loggenbellick. William Magena. Carlos Minijares. I'm sorry, guys. Thank you for taking care of
Anthony Osorio Delgado. Ruby Pena. Brian Perez. Ivan Panetta Manuajas. Fabian Ramirez Siha. Ronaldo Roman. Yuzio Rua. Nancy Sagala Hernandez. Victor Simmental. Fernando Torres. Melissa Turrubiartis. Nitsa Udavi. Perla Vesquez. Aladrandra Vera Garcia. Families, again, thank you so much for coming today to help celebrate our fifth grade students.